you dream about big fish on big water, the Old Town Sportsman Big Water PDL 132 may just be your boat. Up front, we have a very spacious bow hatch, which can accommodate all sorts of gear, dry bags. It has a built-in battery holder compartment so you can keep your battery high and dry uh, up out of any potential water. Moving back, we have two gear tracks here. You can drill these in any pattern you want. So if you want backward looking GoPros, net holders, rod tenders, you name it, these, these pads right here uh, are a great place to mount them. Moving on back, we have the famous PDL drive. This has a five year warranty and it is instant forward and reverse so that when you hook a big fish and you don't want it to tow you out over that cover, you can immediately start pulling back on it. And if you have to chase down offshore schools of fish, this has all the power you're ever going to need. It's a remarkable drive. It's been proven all across literally the world. When you get into the shallow water, you can park it here on this section of the boat that's designed specifically for that. It's got a very cool little hatch here where you can store all your valuables, phone, wallet, other essentials that you want to stay high and dry. That's available right there. As we come back in the boat, we have these two deck mounting pads right here that you can put any sort of Mighty Mount or Yak Attack gear tracks in. We have two map pockets that are really generously sized on each side. In the interior of the boat is a very nice deck pad, so anything that you drop uh, doesn't resonate a bunch of noise throughout the rest of the hull. Uh, it's also excellent for standing, very comfortable, and very spacious in through this section. As we move back, we've got two really nice stout boat handles on either side. Over here on the left side, we have our rudder control with a knob that fixes the rudder in place if you need it. Back here, we have some paddle parks so that you can put either a shallow water anchor pole uh, or your paddle. The rudder control to drop the rudder is on my side of the boat. So it will drop the rudder on command and obviously put it right back up. The seat is the famous Old Town Element seat. Very comfortable. This is the new version. Drains water, excellent. It's got a storage area underneath that is totally impervious to water. Water runs right through it. You can stuff all sorts of gear that you want at your hands right underneath your bucket. There's also a space underneath the seat that can accommodate bigger tackle boxes, 3700s, et cetera. We have one forward facing rod holder on this side angled forward. It does have a keeper spot so that you can put a rod leash right to it. The seat is obviously adjustable fore and aft so you can get just the right distance that you need from the PDL pedal drive system. Moving back, there's some in-hull storage that's right here. We keep a uh, just-in-case uh, case <laughs> inside the hull here. It has uh, a spare nut wrench for the PDL drive, a spare floating nut for the PDL drive, uh, fuses, anything that we might need to keep us going when we're far offshore out in the water. Moving back in the boat, we have two more rear-facing rod holders. We've got a very generous sized tank well cut out. We got a great bungee keeper system in here, obviously. Old Town has a new rudder which uh, has a carry handle. This is an aftermarket from Navarre kayak fishing that we're trying out for some areas that have really stiff current in them. Completely satisfied with the stock Old Town rudder. It's great. Just something we're uh, giving a try. So for big water adventures, big waves, this is a great wave cutting bow and the hull itself rides up and over waves really nicely. It's been proven all across the world in big water. And if you dream big, this is a boat you should look at.